Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex and today I'm going to be building my first gaming computer with a budget of around $1,200. Um, if you're interested, keep on watching. So first before I get to building the computer, um, I'm going to tell you guys about my old system that I had and why I'm building my own again. Um, so first I had a pre-built that was made by CyberPower. Um, I bought it or my girlfriend bought it for me for my birthday in 2018. And at the time, I didn't really know much about um, PCs. And so I was just like, yeah, gaming PC, I'll use it. Um, at the time, I thought that. But um, as two years went by, I just, um, I never really used it. So uh, me and my girlfriend had a YouTube channel before and we started editing on there and stuff. But other than that, I never really used it that much. And then now recently that I moved into my own place um, this year, 2020, um, I've been using it more and more, but I'm seeing the limitations of the hardware that I had. And so I just was like, hey, um, right now is kind of a, I mean, it's, it's a good time to buy computer parts right now. Um, all the stuff that I have here um, came up to around 1200. Besides, I didn't buy a new case um, because I was just gonna use the old case that I had from the previous computer. But um, to let you guys know what was inside of it, what I had, um, so the processor, it was a AMD um, FX6300. Yeah, I believe it was that. And then um, I forgot what motherboard it had, but um, the graphics card, I had a four gigabyte RX650 or 560. Um, and it was made by um, XFX, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'll have the parts that I had in the previous computer, but it was made by CyberPower and the limitations, I, I, I couldn't even run Minecraft at a high FPS. I was looking at 80 FPS for that and that was really bad and that's Minecraft. So I just revamped the whole system. I got um, a new motherboard, new graphics card, new processor, new RAM. I was running DDR3 RAM, which isn't bad by any means, but now I have DDR4. Um, and so I'm just overhauling the whole entire system with new stuff. And since this is my first time, um, I just thought I would bring it to you guys because I know a lot of you guys will be building your first computer anytime soon, if, or if you haven't already built your, already com uh, your new computer. And so when, if I mess up, then I mess up. But I've been doing some research recently, just looking up videos, how to build it and yeah, stuff like that. Just, I mean, I know I'm gonna mess up, but I'm gonna try my hardest not to and to show you guys my process. Um, my girlfriend's gonna be helping me um, film and you know do stuff that could help me. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's get into the building process. So I'm gonna first start uh, with the motherboard. Let me get everything out of the box and I'll get back with you guys. I forgot to show you guys what I'm putting in my computer. So uh, starting with the motherboard, I have the, um, an MSI X570 A Pro. Um, I know it's the it's the lowest tier X570, but it is still one of the newest boards that is going to be um, newly supported from what I've seen from AMD. For my processor, I have a Ryzen 5, um, a Ryzen 5 3600, sorry. Um, and it comes with a, um, I think it's the Wraith cooler. Um, to pair that, I have um, an EVGA GeForce RTX 2070 Super, um, new graphics card. Um, it was more of like the middle ground for me, so I couldn't afford a 2080 Ti or RTX 2080, and I just thought that the 2060 was just a little bit too less for what I was trying to do. So I found that the 2070 was um, a good middle ground. I got the EVGA for $509. And then I'm using um, XPG um, DDR4 RAM, CL18 clocked at 3600 megahertz. Uh, for a power supply, I have a Corsair CX650. It is not modular, but you know, it was 74 bucks, so, and I needed it. Um, for SSD, I'm using a uh, Team Group SSD, it's uh, 512 gigabytes. Um, and then for an HDD, I'm, um, I have a uh, Barracuda, uh, two terabyte. Um, I'll have all the parts that I got um, in the description below on my um, PC part picker list. Um, so I'll put, that guy, I'll, I'll put that down below for you guys. Um, 
And then I got uh, just two fans so I can um, cool it down because the case that I have already came with two fans, so I just got two more. Anyways, um, I'm gonna try to get a shot of me building the motherboard, like putting the processors, the processor in, and then the RAM um, as good as I can because the setup right now isn't the best. But I'm gonna try to have my girlfriend um, get an over overhead of what I'm doing. Um, but anyways, let's get started with it. All right, guys. So since I can't get a better picture, I have my girlfriend helping me film. And I'm gonna be doing my motherboard. Most of this build, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing first, but then I might speed it up just so I don't make it that long. Okay, so I have two sticks of XPG. They're both, it's, it's gonna be a two by eight. So for 16. That's in there. I'm trying to be gentle because it's my first time, but okay. So I have the Rave cooler. It already has the thermal paste on it, so I don't want you guys to. Where's the thermal paste? It's on it already on the bottom. Mm -hmm. I accidentally touched it a little bit, but whatever. All right, so since I'm done doing my motherboard for right now, I'm gonna put in the power supply and start to thread the cables where I need to thread them at. I should just put the motherboard in right now. That's what I'll do just before I do that. So now I'm gonna start working on um, getting the hard drives in, and then I'm gonna work on the fans after that, and then I'm gonna get to the graphics card. So let's take that out. This is the slot. And this is what I'm putting in. I used to only have one terabyte, but now I have two. But that slides in here. Um, and I do not believe I have an SD, S, SSD slot. So I am just gonna put it in there. It doesn't matter where I put it. Team group. I'm just gonna slide it in here. And it's not gonna be moving anywhere. So, cause I literally have nowhere else to put it. All right guys, so as you guys can see, it's a new day. So I was doing it last night and I was just like, yeah, this is gonna take forever because I had to still read up on some stuff just to make sure I was 100% right when I went into it the next day. So it's the next day, it's around like four o'clock, I think. Yeah, it's 4.40. Um, so to speed the video up, I'm going to um, show you guys the important parts of what I'm doing, but um, the last thing I was doing was the fans, and I, did, I didn't put them in yet, but I'm going to time lapse most of the video um, and show all the important parts of what I'm doing, like fans, the, I didn't do the storage yet, um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be getting different angles of what I'm gonna do. So let's get started.
let's go see if it posts. All right, so I'm sitting down at my desk. I'm gonna turn the power supply on to see if it actually three days later all right so this is my third day filming this um so the last part i tried to turn it on and i noticed that i wasn't getting any power to anything so i thought <clears throat> that the power supply is broke um so i got this power supply which is my old one for my old system and i did the paperclip trick just to make sure it like the paperclip worked and I made sure this worked, so this one worked, and I was like, okay, so I'm gonna use the same one for this one that I have. And then it turned on, I was like, what am I doing wrong then? So I figured out that I had the power switch connected to the motherboard wrong, so I took everything apart, and then, um, then it started working. So now I made it, I had it post and everything. I didn't film all that because it was late at night last night. Uh, but I get to show you guys everything that is working now. So let me turn it on. All right, so this is everything. I had everything plugged up. Um, let's see, can you see it? It was the power switch right here. I had it in the wrong spot. So these two fans are blue. The RGB for this one won't work for some reason, but I'll have to figure that out. But yeah, so it turns on. which this is my first time, so that's probably why I had so many problems. But next time, I'll know. And this fan, I couldn't get it to work, but I ordered two more fans to replace this one and to go here. I haven't played any games 100% yet to, to test how many frames I have, but I have to download everything. But so yeah, it works. It, um, it had both my drives on it, um, the SSD, and I had the other one, the two terabyte, and that all worked. So, yeah, let me see. Yeah, let me show you guys. Everything works. Um, it knows that I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. Let me see if I want to focus. There we go. So yeah. Um, temperatures, I'm not really looking that bad, I would say. Um, I do have a tempered glass for the front, I just haven't put it on. But so yeah, this is where I'm gonna end my build. Um, if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, make sure you comment down below how hard it was for your first PC build and let me know if I did anything wrong or anything that I could change in the future. Um, but anyways, thanks guys. Mm -hmm.